Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do mapping using Mavic Mini and Drawlink. So if you want to see how to get a map like this, stick around because I'm going to show everything step by step. So now it's estimating everything and... Oh shit, it's stuck in the grass. Okay, let's start making a flight plan using Drawlink. Okay, I have a new plan here. Okay, the most important thing is to set it to return home, not to not to set it for auto land, so it's gonna land in some trees or whatever. And then we choose map. Okay, we can name it whatever we want it. Like map or whatever, you can just leave it just like it is. Just gonna choose Mavic Mini because that's what we are going going to use. Let's lower the speed. So I don't know if Mini can actually go 30 kilometers per hour. Okay, everything else looks fine. So it gives this area of where it's gonna fly but I'm not happy with it so let's change it we can do it by just grabbing the letters and dragging them in and putting them and putting them in another place Okay, something like this. Of course, we can zoom in, adjust everything. And a green marker is where the drone is gonna start flying. The blue marker is the home point where it's gonna take off and land. So, obviously, we need to put green markers somewhere at the beginning, not at the far end. It's just gonna be waste the battery okay so now we can click on estimate and it's gonna take 16 minutes and it's gonna be 227 pictures to map all this area you can also check the preview So it's gonna fly 61 meter above sea level and it's totally safe because the highest tree I think is maybe 35 meters. I could actually lower it I think a bit to 50 meters and still gonna be fine. So I opened my drawing application on the phone and opened my plan which I prepared on my computer. And all I have to do is press play, a new plan, and it's flying all this path, which is prepared. I actually flew already and ran out of battery after 11 minutes and 53 seconds. So, I realized the drone link is draining the battery really fast. I thought that it's easily gonna last for the 16 minutes, and that's the length of this all path. But the full battery run out after just 12 minutes, so you need to be prepared for that. Apparently, it's draining it really quickly because it's controlling the speed and everything. Okay, so I'm back with the new battery and I'm gonna finish the ignition now. Just four minutes remaining. I'm just gonna hit the play button again. Three, two, one. Starting mission. And it's going up 61 meters high. And then it's gonna go to the point where the battery is running out. It came back home. Okay, I'm gonna go a bit more closer to the area which I'm mapping. 
this thing look better. These are all the pictures from the mapping mission. Let's start stitching them all together using the Photoshop. Okay, now we're in the Photoshop. And I'm gonna open the folder with the pictures. And here they are. But there are too many of them. I know that if I'm gonna put all of them at the same time, it's just gonna crash the computer or freeze. So I'm gonna do like 20 at a time. So let's do like pictures from 469 till 480. Open. So now they are all open in Photoshop. Then we go file. Automate, photo merge, and add open files. And for now, you can just leave everything as it is and press OK. And now it's gonna merge all these 20 pictures together for now. Okay, here it is, the first pictures. It is starting to fly from here, the words here. So, okay, let's save it. Save as Untitled Panorama 1, yeah, that's okay. Just gonna go to the same location. And then you can open the next 20 pictures. Just gonna close all of them real quick. So you can do new pictures. And this time I'm gonna go from 481. using the count and everything and do the same thing and again go to automate photo merge add open files and click OK and it's gonna do everything So I'm just gonna skip this and just do all of them all the time, around 20 pictures and just show you the result. So this is the final result of stitching together more than 200 pictures. Apparently there's some error with the signal on the right side. Well, if I want to fix it I can do mapping just in this area and go closer to it. But this is basically it, you can zoom in, see that the quality is pretty good.
and thanks for watching my tutorial about this and see you next video